Spring Boot has a weird reputation. Everyone knows it, everyone's heard it's enterprise ready, but almost no one actually gets what it does. Most developers hear Spring Boot and immediately picture Java pain, XML nightmares, mysterious annotations, and that one stack overflow thread from 2013 that solved nothing. So they avoid it like the plague. But here's the thing, Spring Boot isn't old school Java. It's actually the reason modern Java is still relevant. It's powerful, efficient, and used by companies like Netflix, Amazon, and Alibaba to run massive systems. The problem the problem is, most people never get past the bad tutorials and the enterprise jargon. So in today's video, we will talk about common misconceptions about this god tier of a framework. Let's start with the biggest misconception. People think Spring Boot is complicated. If you've ever watched a beginner tutorial, you've probably seen someone adding 12 dependencies, 5 annotations, and 3 application context errors before anything works. Sorry to tell you, but that's not Spring Boot's fault. That's just bad teaching. The whole purpose of Spring Boot is to remove complexity. It takes the huge, clunky Spring framework that used to require dozens of XML config files and just automates all of it. No more manual bean setup, no context files, no dependency hell. All you have to do is type at Spring Boot application on top of your main class and get a full backend running instantly. Now let's talk about why some devs stay away, the Java stigma. Everyone wants to use trendy stuff like Go, Node, or Rust. Java feels like a dinosaur. But here's the thing. When your startup actually grows, and you have to handle millions of requests with security, resilience, and maintainability, that boring Java stack suddenly looks very smart. Spring Boot was built for those exact conditions. <clears throat> I'm built different. It's why Netflix built its entire microservices stack on Spring Boot. Tools like Eureka, Hystrix, and Zool all came out of Netflix's Spring Boot ecosystem. In fact, what Netflix built became the blueprint for how modern microservices work today. What most people don't realize is that Spring Boot is already everywhere. You've probably used apps powered by it without knowing. Netflix, Spotify, Amazon Prime. It's not popular in enterprise because it's old, but because it works at insane scale. It's reliable, has world-class documentation, and a huge ecosystem of ready-to-use modules. While newer frameworks chase hype cycles, Spring Boot just quietly powers billions of API calls a day, and it's not stuck in the past either. The latest versions are genuinely modern. You can use Kotlin for cleaner syntax, add reactive support through Spring Web Flux for async performance that rivals Node.js, and spin up new projects in seconds using Spring Initializer. You can even connect it directly to cloud providers or container orchestrators with almost no config. It's still Java, but it feels a lot closer to TypeScript or Go than the old boilerplate hell you might remember. Of course, Spring Boot isn't perfect. Hold up! Wait a minute! Once you start working on massive systems with hundreds of services, dependency management gets tricky. The learning curve is real, but once it clicks, it's game-changing. You start realizing how much time you wasted setting up databases, handling security, or writing error-prone configs manually in other stacks. So when I say 99% of devs don't get Spring Boot, it's not because it's too complex. It's because they stopped at Hello World. They never saw what's behind that one annotation. Spring Boot isn't just another Java framework. It's a production-grade system builder designed for scale, reliability, and speed. Like I said, the reason companies like Netflix, Amazon, and even Google trust it isn't nostalgia, or because some 60-year-old executive is stuck in his old ways. It's because it just works. Once you actually get Spring Boot, you realize it's not corporate overkill. It's one of the smartest frameworks ever made for building real systems that last. And if you are asking yourself, where can I host all the cool Spring Boot projects I will make now that I understand how powerful it is, well, look no further than Savala, the sponsor of today's video. Savala is a modern platform as a service that lets you deploy and manage apps, databases, and static sites without needing any experience in DevOps. You get analytics out of the box, instant previews for every pull request, and a clean dashboard that handles all the infrastructure magic for you. It's built on Kubernetes and powered by Cloudflare's Global Edge network, so your projects stay fast everywhere. Backed by over a decade of hosting experience from Kinsta, Savala gives you all the power of modern cloud hosting without the headache, just push your code, and your project is live in minutes. It's perfect for developers who want to focus on shipping without needing to babysit servers or juggle billing tiers. Whether you're building a hobby app or managing production workloads with a full team, Savala scales seamlessly with your workflow. Check the link in the description to get started with $50 in free credit. This was Codehead with yet another tech rant. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. Lights out.